Hello everybody, my name is Richard Vigorelli and I am your guide for everything Chinese medicine and I set it up so Westerners can understand it. So, I had a request from a viewer uh, for something called Candida. What is it? How do I get rid of it? Uh, because the, apparently it's making life terrible. Very sorry to hear that. I have actually treated somebody uh, with candida in my tenure as a physician, and well, here's basically what Chinese medicine views candida to be. It's kind of a weird marriage between straight up dampness and damp heat. So it's dampness with a little bit of heat thrown in on top of it. Now the problem is the cause. See, Candida is a fungal infection of the mucosa of the mouth, typically. Now, it can extend down further into the digestive tract and make life really quite unbearable because, well, you're being digested. <laughs> That's how fungus feeds. It releases uh, enzymes and juices onto its food, breaks it down into base components, and then slurps up the rest. So, how do you get candida? Did you eat something? Did you lick something? Did something lick you? What happened? Well, you got it growing inside of you. Everyone does. It's part of the natural biology of your body. And if the stuff that keeps uh, the fungus candida albicans uh, at bay, uh, if that is okay, then you don't have a candida or thrush outbreak. What keeps it at bay, you ask? Bacteria. One of the things that, well, pretty much the major thing that is going to cause an outbreak of thrush is overuse of antibiotics, especially for a long period of time, because fungus produces antibiotics. And bacteria produce antifungals because bacteria and fungus don't exactly get along well. They're, they kind of like to beat each other up quite a bit because they compete for a lot of the same food sources. They also compete for a lot of the same real estate, so to speak. So they do their best to get rid of each other. Uh, well, good example of this is penicillin is produced by a fungus called penicillium and it's found on moldy bread. Uh, we discovered it by accident actually and penicillin was the very very first documented antibiotic. It's produced by a fungus. Uh, they, so in your body there is a constant war going on. Now as long as everybody basically stays on their respective side of the fence, you're not going to get a bunch of problems. It's when you wipe out a key species or give too much favor to another one and allows one to overtake the other. So, two people taking antibiotics. I'm going to tell you this. Don't take antibiotics prophylactically. Don't take antibiotics because somebody not a doctor said it was a good idea. And be very, very careful when you take them, okay? Do not take antibiotics for colds. A cold is a virus and will never, ever, 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 ever be affected by antibiotics. And if you don't believe me, ask any MD or nurse, or hell, even an osteopath, if I'm right. As far as getting rid of something like thrush, well, uh, you're going to have to take an antifungal. Afraid so. There are some things you can do with acupuncture and herbs, but just having knowledge of a thrush outbreak is not really going to help me very much help you. I need to know a lot more information and I do not diagnose or prescribe without seeing the patient in front of me. 
it's a very, very bad idea because I could cause a lot of problems. So, my recommendation to anybody suffering from Candida, uh, talk to an MD, talk to somebody that knows what they're talking about about this, and see if there is a proper antifungal that you can take, and what kind of rebuild uh, you are going to have to do on the back on your natural innate bacteria in your body so as to keep that fungus at bay and remember any single drug you take you do have a recovery time on so be ready for that so uh, that's about all i've got for you uh, i'll be back later with something else uh, if you have any uh, specific questions for me feel free to set them down in the towel section below uh, give us a like and a subscribe with that big red button and uh, if you got anything kind of pressing or concerning that you want to talk to me about uh, feel free to visit my website at vigintmed.com that stands for vigorelli integrated medicine and uh, i'll be sure to get back to you as soon as i can so i'll be back later until then you take care and stay healthy